Hello friends, this is NodeChat application tutorial series with MongoDB database. And in this part, we will learn how to save or insert chat message data into MongoDB database under this chat application. In previous part, we have covered how to send chat message and now in this part, we want to store chat message in database. So here, first we have to create collection in MongoDB for store chat message data. So here, we have create one new file under model directory with name like chat message model.js. Under this file, first, we import the mongoose library. And this library allows us to interact with MongoDB databases using JavaScript. Next, we import the Jo library. Jo is a powerful validation library for JavaScript that we will use to validate the data before saving it to the database. After this, here, we define a schema for the chat request collection in our MongoDB database. A schema defines the structure of the documents that we will store in the collection. Under this, first we have defined the schema for chat message sender ID field. It is of type string and it is required. That means in every document, it have a value for this field. Similarly, we have to define the schema for chat message receiver ID field. And this field type is string and it is required. That means in every document, it must have a value for this field. Next we have defined the schema for chat message field. And this field type is also string and this field value is required. After this, we have defined the schema for chat message status field. And this field type is a string. And this field can only have values from the enum data like no or yes. And this field default value is set to no. Finally under this schema, we have to define chat message date time field. This field has data type like date. And here, we have set default value is set to the current date and time when document is created. Now we have create a model by using the schema which we have defined earlier. This model represents the chat message collection in our MongoDB database. And lastly, we have to export the chat message model so that it can used in other parts of our application. Now we have goes to server file and here we have import the chat message model from our chat message model file. This model represents the structure of documents in our MongoDB collection. After this, we have goes to send chat routes, which will handle send chat request data. Under this route, when a post request is received, then we have to create a new chat message object based on the data sent in the request body. So under this object, first we have extract sender user ID data and store under chat message sender ID field value. After this, 
we have extract, receiver user ID data from request body, and store under, chat message receiver ID field. And then after, we have extract, message content from request body, and store under this, chat message field. So once the chat message object is created, so now we want to save it into MongoDB database. So here, we have to write await keyword with chat message object dot save method. This method will store the message in chat message collection of MongoDB database. And once message has been inserted into database, then it will send success response to client. So here, our code is ready for store or insert chat message into MongoDB database and now for check output in the browser. We have goes to terminal window and here we have run this command which will start node development server. So friends, here we can see that chat application index page has been display. Now here in login form, we have enter login details, one by one. And after this, we have click on login button, and after click on login button. Here we can see that, we have enter into chat application. And here left side, we can see, list of connected user, with start chat button. Now we want to chat with this user, so we have click on this, start chat button. So here, we can see that, chat area has been appear, on web page. Now for send chat message, so here in text area field, we have type, short chat message. And after this, we have click on, send chat button. So after click on send chat button, here we can see that, chat message has been submitted, which we can see here under this chat conversation area. Now here, in Cloud MongoDB database, here we can see that, chat message has been inserted, into this chat message collection. So here, we have learned, how to save chat message data, under MongoDB database, under this chat application. In next part, we will show you, font end code, for how fetch chat message from database, and display on web page. So we will be meet in next part.